So new here at 4 o'clock, it's Medic's Roll Up Your Sleeve Week at WAT6 on your side. Proud to be a part of the annual blood drive. It is so important. The Medic Blood Bus is parked right outside Greystone Studios right now. And that is where we find WAT6 on your side anchor Kristen Farley. Kristen, let's talk about how long it takes for a donor to get in, make their donation, and then head on out. The average person, it only takes about 45 minutes. If you think about that, 45 minutes, and that can help save three lives. So simple to do, everyone. Now, the bus kind of quiet right now. No one currently donating. The good thing is we have two donors who have just gotten on the bus. They're getting registered right now. That's part of the process as well. So we want to talk to Darren Ellis again real quick from Medic. So thank you so much for joining us and for doing this. You guys do so much for the community. Thank you. We're, we're glad to be out. Let's talk a little bit about Roll Up Your Sleeve Week. You guys have had donation sites set up everywhere. I hate that it's kind of quiet in here right now, but you guys are doing great this week. Yeah, we're doing really well this week. We're at a bunch of food cities and a lot of the community, so we're really looking forward. We had a big turnout uh, the past couple of days, so we're, we're looking forward to continue that out this week. You know, we talk about this each and every year, that after the holidays, the need is up. Explain why and, again, what types you're really looking for today. Yeah, so during the holidays, donations go down. We understand people travel but the demand from the hospital stays the same and so it, it ramps back up as well when people come back um, and so now we're in need of A negative, A positive, O negative and, and O positive blood. It is a, a, such a simple process to donate. What is the biggest misconception that you want to try to clear up that maybe will help get more people out here today? People just have a lot of uh, like questions about uh, tattoos or medication or, or things like that. And so if you just go online, we, we sort of explain all that. We give you some steps to walk through about hydrating and eating before you donate. So that's a lot of the misconceptions about it. And, and what about age requirements for this? No, there's no there's no age requirements as far as you have to be 16 in order to donate. But as far as a maximum age, there isn't. There. Now with flu going around right now, if someone's at home not feeling real well, should they not donate? Yeah, if you're not, we, we ask uh, that if you're not feeling great uh, to, to stay at home. But um, we like if you're on medication, or you have any questions like that, you can always go online and check those out as well. Real quickly, remind everyone how many hospitals and communities you guys serve. Uh, we serve 22 counties and I think 25 hospitals as well. So we supply all the blood in, in those counties and for those hospitals. All right, Darren, thank you for all you do. We appreciate it. Again, everyone parked right outside the WATE Six on Your Side Studios. Plenty of room. Come on down. Do your part to help save a life. And of course, it only takes about 45 minutes. Bo, Lori. So yep. worth it, Kristen. Thank you. And that blood drive, as Kristen said, going on right now until 630 yep. tonight. So pay us a visit. Save a life. Love to see you. And of course, if you can't make it out today, the blood drive goes on all week. For the locations, dates, times when you can donate, go to our website, wat.com, and click on the As Seen On section.